Hello friends, my name is Palash. Today I will talk about how to investigate a microbial failure in your aseptic injectable process area. Be with me, it will be short and precise presentation. I will not take much more time of yours. Probably I will give you some useful insight to understand how to proceed in such kind of scenarios. So before going ahead with my main presentation, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. These all videos are very much realistic and based on my practical experience and hopefully this will helpful in your career and work profession as well. So whenever we are talking about microbial contaminations in our facilities, we should understand that it lies on certain areas or certain components which can contribute a contamination in your finished product starting from utility right so first of all utility is required you know to man process our formulations cleaning sanitizations i will be talking about in in more mature manner in my next slide just keep focus in this five parameter where i will be talking about i'm sorry please focus on this six parameter where i will talking about utility equipment what you are using to produce or manufacturing your product process the way you handle the product the way we clean the product the way you establish your process right material it, it may be a packing material it may be a uh, raw material the way you handle the way you store the way you maintain the inventory test and release so all those scenario is very much important uh, in terms of microbial contamination even for sterile and aseptic process one of the biggest uh, you know contributor of microbial uh, you know contaminations is personal because we need manual interventions in every uh, every stages to fix our process that's how in today's scenario we talk much more about digitalizations uh, using a robotics uh, using automations so we are promoting more because uh, in a aseptic area when your product is getting filled in a very controlled manner as much less interventions you will do during the process uh, it will be very helpful it will be very safe for your product and last of all i will talk about the facility how you maintain the facility how you clean the facility how your facility being built up and, and it, it 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 control uh, it monitor uh, it, it will have a longer impact on your microbial contamination so friends uh, please keep on your eyes in all those uh, you know uh, area what i have discussed so let's split and talk about in in very precise manner i, I will not take much uh, on every each and individual point just keep your eyes uh, whatever i have written uh, in in every every component the these are not the exclusive list uh, just you know give you a you know your your, your a idea for your thought so i have listed out couple of uh, you know contributing factors suppose if we are talking about the utility you understand we are talking about a clean utility so again you can categorize you know critical and non critical uh, so when we talking about a compressor which is directly going to flash uh, in, in your product container when we are talking about WFI where you are going to mix and dissolve your uh, your drug solutions those are more critical than your you know chilled water system than your other non-critical 
uh, utility system so just be categorized what are the utilities are critical look into the design and qualification aspect whether they they fit to your process whether they are they are they are fulfilling your intended purpose whether you are timely monitoring those system process whether you are testing uh, you know uh, all the utilities uh, which is supplied for your process and then you you should have a very good maintenance and breakdown plan so any kind of unplanned uh, maintenance need to be ensured and need to be corrected and and you should ensure that uh, it's working uh, as per the uh, intended procedure then i can talk about the equipments for equipment uh, so starting from operations uh, then cleaning and sanitization is the one of the biggest contributor i can say for the microbial contamination then again so breakdown also as it's a machine breakdown and preventive maintenance as i am talking about in utilities it is a contributing factor even the qualifications and validation studies you have done for your product even the calibration so if if your probes are not calibrated if, if they are not monitored maybe the result you are getting that can be falsified alarm or interlock you may be confused how alarm or interlock can be correlated with the microbial contamination site right? so uh, please assume you are you are running a sterilization system or you are running a sterilizer and you know steam pressure is low and you are not getting the alarm and how the interlock is being connected if the steam pressure is low and temperature is getting down for for a certain time your cycle will be reset or your cycle will be avoided so that's how we are connecting alarm or interlock as well with the, with the control of micro, microbial contaminations so next will be the 21 CFR compliance so you will be quite confused why uh, how 21 CFR compliance can contribute towards microbial contamination so I I, uh, I specify 21 CFR but don't don't focus on that always so it, it can be a UNX01 it can be other regulatory CGMB document uh, which uh, explicitly elaborate uh, the controls and the requirement of your process that need to be followed and and, and uh, so uh, for for uh, FDA it can be 21 CFR part 210 211 and and uh, part 11 as well where we uh, specifically talking about electronic signature electronic record uh, yes friends so i would like to emphasize here on the electronic signature and records that is uh, uh, it's very much important uh, to have a digital track uh, who is operating the machines whether the person is uh, trained or not and what are the what are the interventions what are the changes has been done uh, during the process is very critical to review uh, your audit trial as well an unauthorized attempt of any kind of machines and operation can have extended impact on the microbial cont contaminations uh, as well so that's how it has been uh, elaborated here so let's uh, move next so when we are talking about the process so we must talk about how we validate the process how we develop the testing process if it is getting transferred somewhere so how the process being transferred so if you're talking about the cleaning and validations or cleanings and or, or disinfection process how you establish the cleaning for your for your machine uh, for for you, the cleaning validation process for your for your product when you're taking a campaign batch when you're taking a multiple you know critical products so how you ensure how your quality system is you know going to govern here when we are taking for a uh, change control or when you are shifting for some uh, critical changes in your system how you drive how those monitor so that can be a contribution factor how you document those and how your quality control system help you to monitor to understand and to prevent the microbial contaminations so even investigation is one of the critical way we should understand if there is a failure what is the root cause of the failure at least i'm not talking about you should you should definitely define a root cause it may be a multiple uh, reason as well which can contribute the microbial contamination so we should mitigate that to you know uh, reduce the chance of future failures or reduce the chance uh, reduce the risks within the process right so uh, so next one is material so when I'm talking about the materials the vendor should be validated the testing and release of the material need to be ensured the storage and qualifications of the area need to be ensured how you disposition of the expired material how those are handling and how uh, those are disposition that also a contributing factor even the environmental control so as I, I told that in this uh, scenario personal is the mono, most of the critical factor who contributes towards the microbial contamination by shredding screen flu, uh, uh, and and lots of in, involvement uh, personnel have in the process which which can uh, contribute to our microbial contaminations 
so we should ensure uh, the training program uh, of personnel we should ensure if there's an analyst the analyst should be qualified the person should have uh, the aseptic behavior how to move into the clean room how to handle any kind of interventions how to um, uh, how to contribute to other uh, personal monitoring personal hygiene sampling techniques even though the refreshing training although your operators are trained it's it's may require you should refresh them with with the procedure again or or you should intimate them something is newly revised or something you are intending need to be improved so uh, next i will talk about facility when i talk about facility it should be design how we control and monitor that facility cleaning and disinfection again one of the critical contributing factor how your hvac system design build to maintain your area how your bms or ems system are in place to monitor and giving an alert something is going to wrong so friends i as i told this is not the exclusive list much more you can explore based on your experience uh, uh, what i propose you should know your process and in each and every contributing step should to be right somewhere to understand what what are the area can be failed what are the function can be failed what are the control can be failed right so you can see this is this is the flow this is the generic flow of aseptic uh, process uh, for in uh, aseptic process for liquid injectable why we started off material management unit preparation compounding uh, it may be used uh, bio burden filtration followed by the sterile filtration then washing of your or components then aseptic filling inspection and finish good and next slide we will see how live laser can contribute where you will will find after aseptic filling that will be half stoppering it will go for the sterile uh, go for the live filization then stoppering then it will process for inspection and good transfer so whatever your process try to split all the contributing factor if you are talking about the material management as i told so it is a material receiving it material storage uh, how it is getting dispensed who is getting getting dispense the dispensing area whether it is working well dispatch of finished goods so those are the critical events right so if uh, suppose we are talking about the washing and deposition so you should you should you should check about the decartening area how the decartening is getting so end of the cycle you are getting particles so whether your uh, your inspection system is uh, so critically controlled qualified people are performing uh, even the recipe they are following whether those are efficient uh, your your washing cycles are qualified validated for, for intended purpose your tunnel speed conveyor and monitoring of the hepa filter of the tunnel so i told lots of point need to be considered i i may not mention everything in this slide so uh, again when we are talking about the life laser I, I told that for, from filling there is a partial stoppering will be happen then it will go to the life laser and when you are talking about life laser so loading of life lasers can be a, a critical factor by, where you should maintain the area criticality and microbial control and it will go uh, into the life laser cycle and after that it will be unloading from the life laser so again you can split this process in couple of um, major elements starting from qualification sensor calibration preventive maintenance periodic breakdown assessment you, you cip of the life laser sip of the life laser filter installed in the life laser whether uh, the integrity has been done the leak test of the life laser the sample transfer system when when the when the open or partially stopper vials at are traveling to the life laser and again uh, after sealing it is traveling back to towards the sealing machine the compressor the nitrogen system the quality whatever the gas you are using during blanketing uh, within the life laser so lots of critical things intervention uh, need to be challenged during the media this is one of the critical contributing factor so to to assess whether uh, any kind of actions you are doing in the li life laser whether that can pose a microbial contamination so well, i will not talk about the media field in this um, uh, in this presentation but but uh, as um, you understand is the one of the critical process where we try to assess all, all kind of contamination factor during media field as well uh, to simulating um, the exact process is what we follow during our manufacturing commercial manufacturing so uh, i i will say uh, uh, this this is the basic physical structure what what we intended to do uh, for for any kind of investigations that we call ishikaga diagram and sometimes it referred as fishbone diagram as well or or people uh, call it cause effect diagram so so these are these are the very popular diagram and we can see uh, in our daily investigations so you can see that i have tried to uh, pull down couple of basic things here when we are talking about 
facility microbial contamination so we should talk about design prospectics cleaning temperature humidity and em monitoring bms ems control pressure differential disinfections and hvac system design uh, as well as when we are talking about utility we should we should talk about the trend how it is coming so whether it is a seasonal variation whether it is a, something different from 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 uh, you know earlier occasions so you able to know from the trend so it is a very important factor to have a, um, a trend of of, of critical utility so you should you should understand your behavior of the gases what are the control what are the design what are the filter install uh, in 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 your in your area and what are the in process uh, quality uh, it is providing so similarly for for pw and wfa what are the process you are using so if 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 a solid oral doses so pw uh, we, we will be the uh, uh, you know water source uh, what you, what will be using for your process and if it is injectable process your final rinse uh, will be wfi to uh, to minimize the introduction level in your product and, uh, and 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 your formulation solution will be wfi so it, it will be critical to control p is you know the important factor will be utilizing for all sip of your vessel of your life laser chamber uh, uh utilize in the in the sterilizer so again the quality of your steam is uh, is also matter uh, for microbial control so so i will not repeat this validation maintenance breakdown and calibration you should understand and it can be the common common contributing factor for utility uh, equipment and another other critical critical machine so uh, for equipment so it's it's uh, important it should be fit for use you should not compromise based on the design based on the so if if person cannot able to reach somewhere so so it's very difficult so it should be reachable i have seen people are approaching big vessel where they, they don't have ladder so uh, so it's it's very difficult uh, it health hazardous for the for the for the people those who are utilizing that machine and even uh, for your process as well because personnel uh, who are not you know uh, actually trained and they are not really really happy uh, based on the performance of the design of the machine it cannot be approachable for the product so again it can be a cause of your microbial contraction as well so you should look all those aspects as well line cleanse how how you review the review all those machines before starting your process and, and then whether the earlier product remaining are there in your machines or not that also important factor here then personal we talk about and and material we talk about so it's it's just an example you can so whenever we are, we are trying to uh, split the process don't don't be feel shy to write all those component and and split in your process uh, uh, in in a, in a in a wider manner where we, we will be placing all the relevant component uh, in your fish bone to understand and to analyze the microbial uh, my contamination risks and it's it's better to have you just and identify uh, the specific area where we, we just look into uh, improvement can be done in every area where you can uh, split all the area uh, definitely but but i will propose whenever there is investigation or there's a failure in the specific formulation a specific area so the machine you should try to el elaborate and and expand uh, the investigation through the fish bone so th this this is the microbial contamination mix and uh, i've tried to elaborate all the factors but uh, i told as i told this is not the exclu exclusives you can do more and more towards that uh, friends thank you very much for listening me hope uh, this presentation is uh, helpful for you for your investigations or any kind of microbial failure uh, please uh, feel free to connect with me uh, my my communications mail id will be providing with this videos or you can write uh, back to me in the comment note uh, what next topic you are looking for and if you require any kind of help in your microbial investigation or you have stuck somewhere uh, to identify uh, the root cause uh, so please communicate in the in the comment box hopefully we can able to help you regarding that thank you very much friends